Now that it's dark again in the mornings, the promise of cup 40 is literally the only thing getting me out of bed. Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Loca. This is the channel for you if you're looking for beauty advice, not only but with a focus on skincare and more mature skin. I recently read a quite interesting quote by a dermatologist and it was, the question is not if summer has damaged your skin, the question is how much. And I can kind of relate to that because some of the problems that we face after summer is over, like hyperpigmentation, can't completely be prevented. So I'm here today to tell you how you can transition your skincare from summer to fall to prepare for the season to come and undo the things summer has done to your skin. Changing weather has some positive news for oily skin girls like me. Skin is less oily, there is less sebum on your skin, which means that your skin is more prone to dehydration and that the skin's barrier needs more protection. So I recommend that you change your more stripping, thorough, purifying cleansers. I personally love the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser and either use them interchangeably or swap them completely with something more nourishing. My pick would be the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel, which is still very thorough in cleansing but leaves the skin feeling nourished and soft. Another thing many people do throughout the summer month is they either stop or reduce the use of acids and retinol because sun sensitivity is of course a concern but right now you have the sweet spot where your skin can still take the exfoliation before the dehydration and cold of the winter makes your skin more sensible and let's be honest the sweat, the SPF or in my case the French diet with too many croissants has led to congested and dull skin. So go in with a thorough exfoliation. I like the Institutum Triple Effect Peel and this one is a triple combined peel which contains glycolic and salicylic acid great for my acne prone skin which contains papaya enzymes for a more gentle dissolving and a very gentle scrub to really get rid of any texture. Just choose an acid that your skin can tolerate and make sure to get rid of all the congestion that your skin has. This will help with the third problem many people face right now. Skin looks patchy. This is due to hyperpigmentation because no matter how thorough your sun protection is, you will always get existing sunspots to get more noticeable when you are out in the sun and due to tan that's fading unevenly after the summer at the beach. On top of exfoliation there are a few other things you can do to help with that and this is retinol. If you suffer from really strong hyperpigmentation like melasma or I have very stubborn sunspots up here from yeah, my early 20s when all I wanted to be is as tan as the models in the sports magazines. Alpha Abutin or at least in the European Union the prescription version Hydroquinone are great to tackle this hyperpigmentation right now and leave you with smooth and even canvas. I really like the Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic Acid Retinol Brightening Solution because it not only contains retinol but it does contain Alpha Abutin as well and I have seen great results on my skin. The Ordinary do an Alpha Abutin as well because this one is quite pricey. And of course, don't forget to add vitamin C. This will help with evening out the skin tone. I like anti-wrinkle brightening serum from Institution, but there are a ton of other options. Claire's do a freshly juiced vitamin C drops, which are much more affordable. The aforementioned changes in weather, the chilly mornings, the chilly evenings, the winds, means that your skin's barrier is weakened. As I said before, more prone to dehydration. So of course, make sure to get your humectants in, use your hyaluronic acid, your glycerin, all that. But on top of that, see if you need to switch to a richer moisturizer or in my case, introduce a moisturizer. In the summer, SPF is enough for me in terms of emollients and occlusives. But now that it's colder, I reach for, very well loved, the La Roche-Posay Redermic C lotion. This is rich enough for me, contains vitamin C. If you're more oily and still just want some extra protection, the Pixie Rose Cover. Cavia Essence would be a great choice. Really lightweight but contains 
contains a lot of emollients to repair your skin's barrier and prevent dehydration. In terms of face masks, I have been almost exclusively using clay masks throughout the summer, but I'd recommend switch to something hydrating or preferably something hydrating and brightening. Sheet masks are a great option or the Claire's freshly juiced vitamin E face mask. This contains vitamin E, niacinamide, ceramides and a lot ton of mectans. So it's great for boosting radiance, glow and deeply hydrating my skin and I use it as an overnight mask. Please tell me in the comments below what you have done to adapt your skincare now that fall is upon us and yeah, bonus tip, don't forget your buddy. I swear by dry brushing. If you want me to do a video on that, just give me a shout in the comments below. And of course, like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you all very soon with another video. Bye!